Well, hello there, my dear friends. Welcome back to the Scott Reed Project and Hair Part 3. So, these beautiful hair loin fillets I've got. Racking my brains to think what to do with these beauties. And I think I'm going to do a hair wellington. Now, a couple of options. I could just do single portion ones. Or I could, like a lot of people do with things like duck, just rest them on top, you know, make it one. But I always find when you cut into them, you can actually see that it was two pieces, one on top of the other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my favourite stuff. It does exactly what it says on the tin. I'm going to glue them together. <laughs> now I know a lot of people don't quite get meat glue. I mean, I have no issues with it. I think it's an amazing product. Uh, you don't lose any taste or flavor. It's just a great thing. And I know this may be a bit poncy, you know, I could just rest them on top, but hey, we're the SRP, aren't we? So yeah, let's do it. So get me glove on. Not that it's core stick or anything like that, dear boy. So, open the magic bag. A bag of white powder. So that's what it looks like. Can you see in there? So basically what I'm going to do is put a bit over there. and then take that piece, put a bit over there. And then put it thin end to thick end, press it down. And what I need to do then is just wrap this tightly in cling film, put it on chill and let it do its thing. It's that simple. So already you can see how that's taken on more of a cylindrical shape. So what I need to do is just twist it and then it'll look more like a mini fillet and then we put it in the fridge overnight and then we can build our beautiful Wellington once we make our duck sow. Sleep tight. It's looking good though. Loving it. Look at that, how that's changed. Okay, so it's been in the fridge 24 hours. Let's see how it's turned out. Has it worked? I hope so. Look at that. How mad is it? Oh, look at that. Perfect. So it really is amazing we've turned what was basically two flat oblongs into a perfectly round fillet. Beautiful, it's got a bit of string there. Right, what we need to do with this now then is to brown it in the pan. With it being hair and not too thick, obviously, want to do it real quick just to get some colour on because we want to keep it kind of rare when we cook off the Wellington. Right. Let's get some heat on it. And once this is coloured nicely, we can let it cool down completely and then build our Wellington. Now, I don't want to take it any more than that. I'm going to play it safe, get it on the plate, 
and get it cooling. Beautiful. Say what you want about meat glue, but this is where it comes into its own. I mean, that's quite impressive by anybody's standards, isn't it, really? For what is basically, again, two hair loids. I love it. So next, I want to put down my prosciutto. So fiddly, this stuff. It's wafer thin. Not ham for my sausage fingers at all. Mmm. <laughs> Stickier than a sticky thing. Right. Come on, you beauty. Man, it's thin. It's thinner than a 90s supermodel. And that, hopefully, when that's cooled, will sit on there. We can roll it up, but first, we need to add our mushroom duck sal. Now, very simple mushroom duck sal. It's just mushroom shallots cooked in some butter here's a little video to show you how it's done but basically we just smother all of this over this lovely prosciutto and while I do this you can watch how I made this wonderful mushroom duck sal enjoy Don't forget one of the main ingredients. Commands on your fillet. Obviously, you can use Dijon. If you do, you're dead to me. <laughs> uh, slowly, slowly, catchy, cheese and eating monkey. Okay, that's as good as it's going to get. So that sits on there like that. Scrape that up. Get that on. Oh, that's a beautiful thing, man. It's so beautiful, man. So beautiful. Okay, then. Now we want to gently roll this bad boy up. Just... I want to make sure it all gets a bit of that. Duck sal. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fashion it this way. Just like that. 
Oh yeah. And then all this excess duxal from the edges. I'm going to make sure it will fit over the top of this one. So come on you beauty. I think we've nailed it. Yeah. Oh yeah. So I want to roll that. Want that nice and tight. What I'm going to do, because this needs to chill, is give it a bit of shape. And I'm just going to put that on chill. We can trim it up and then get it onto our pastry. Okay then, got our ready rolled puff pastry. Life is too short. So we're going to place it there and just take a measurement. Yeah, I think I'm just going to push it just there. I could fold that over there and secure it with a little bit of water because I got no egg. Like a div, I forgot my egg. I'd forget my balls if they weren't in a bag, you know. So we just give it a bit of that. Give it a bit of that. And give it a little bit of that oh yeah and then take a knife I want to cut that off because I'm gonna maybe do a little bit of pretty patination but yeah that's looking amazing so the end, always tricky, never good looking, not like me. I'm going to go like that and give it some of that. Again, repeat with this side. Sure, it's nice and firm. Just bring that up before I cook this. I'll give it a good egg wash, but yeah, I'm happy with that. So, just give it a little crimp, nothing too fancy. Just pressing it so it's secure. Rip one of them. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So there you have it. This wonderful hair Wellington ready to go. And it's surprising with those small hair loins. So obviously we stuck it together, but you add those duck sows, that prosciutto, and then put it in pastry with some fancy lattice work, if I may say so myself. And it becomes a great meal for two. So all we need to do is cook it. Let's do it. It's wonderful, isn't it? Eh? Almost professional. Okay, so now the moment of truth. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Get up. I wonder what it's going to be like. You never know. Never, never know. I'm just going to tidy up that end first.
Okay, now normally I would get this on a plate, but I just want to get into it and try it. Mm. So there you have it, my wonderful hair loin Wellington. How good that looks where we glued those two loins together to make that lovely cylindrical fillet. Then all I did then was egg wash the pastry in a preheated oven, 180 degrees centigrade for about 30, 35 minutes. Took it out and rested it. And the hair is still nice and tender. It's starting to dry out now under these lights. But yeah, you can see the juiciness in there. Uh, maybe five minutes less on the cooking. But by the time I've hung around messing about, filming and all that, I don't think it looks too bad at all. I think all it needs is a spot of gravy. So before I make a pick of myself then, if you've liked what you've seen here today on the SRP, please click subscribe when my face comes up down here. Also find me on my social media, Facebook, The Scott Reed Project, Twitter, The Scott Reed Project, and Instagram at The Scott Reed Project. So until next time, when all we've got left are the legs and the shoulders, we'll be, we will be making classic jugged hair because I saved the blood. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that journey. We turned those two little flat fillets into, well, I don't know what that is now, a train wreck. But you saw it in all its glory. Take care, my friends.